on, on Twitter yesterday. I, I think you retweeted it, Sean, where I'm like, I guess, can we get to that for a second? This whole Loma mm -hmm. walking away from the table. So, yeah. you know, I originally said, I'm like, look, Loma's not motivated to fight Tank. Tank wasn't motivated to fight him years ago. So I put it as like, oh, he's returning the favor. I had to think deeply about it, talk with some smart people and, and, and kind of reflect on it. And it's like, well, okay, but technically, right, that, that was just talk. There was never a contract actually ever on the table. This is the first time between Lomachenko and Tank Davis there's actually a contract on the table, right? So It's never a contract truly on the table. Right. It's just a, a deep negotiation, oh, right. a deep conversation. Right, right. This is the first deep negotiation conversation. Right. Yeah. And so... When fighters you, say, send the contract, there's no contract to send. Go yeah. ahead. So you could argue... Like that, you know, Lomachenko is ducking Javante because this is the first time the fight's realistically in play and he's walking away from the table, right? But at the same time, and this isn't too... Fine, Lomachenko ducked Javante Davis, right? Okay, I'll, but he... Like, why are we asking this 36... He's already fought Tio and Devin, so he got to fight Shakur and Tank too? How, they got to fight each other. How many times does this 36-year-old have to... Uh, you know, fight these these natural, you know, these younger guys and yeah. go. So, okay, whatever. Lomachenko ducks Tank. That's not even the point. Tank and Shakur, with or without a Tank Lomachenko fight, was always to find out who's the best lightweight in boxing. Absolutely. The two guys in their 20s who yeah. have an O, yeah. who've been champ. Uh, Shakur's been champion for five years. Tank's been champ for seven years. That. Sometimes I get I get the business prerogatives, but yeah. the prerogative in the sport to find out who's the best lightweight in the world, Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis. Agree one hundred percent. And I feel like if anything, Loma came back into the picture. I feel like Loma was out of the picture. Maybe even before fighting Devin Haney, he was out of the picture. That fight, he really kind of showed, hey, he still got it, but he lost the fight, so he's out of the picture. Then he has a, a prime performance against uh, um, uh, Cambosis. That you know, we we now we know that Cambosis is a decent C plus fighter, and <laughs> and and Loma went over there and and did what he had to do, and really said, you know, hey, I can still do this if I want to, and while saying I can still do this if I want to, now y'all looking at this as this is the play for us. Wasn't the play for y'all when everybody wanted it, but to your defense, you weren't ready yet. They still, he still was trying to establish his name, trying to establish who he was, trying to get under, from underneath that the arm of Floyd Mayweather. And now that you've done that, this guy has, that ship has just, it was already on the dock. And he was sitting on the dock, willing to have a conversation. When this guy says, yeah, you know what, I'm going to sell off. He was so already going to do that. He got back, he came back to see what it looks like, to think about it. But he he he. I don't think he has any intentions on fighting anymore. Neither does he. Neither should he. He's a 36 year old man. What 20 and 0? I think as a as a professional boxer. Who uh? Uh, uh Lomachenko. Oh no, that's well. He's got you know. He's, it's two, like 18 two. and three. Or excuse me. Like uh, yeah, yeah yeah. 18 and three. Excuse yeah. me. I knew he had tw uh, right around 25. No, he had a couple losses. Anyway, but on top of the extensive 300 plus amateur fights, two Olympic games. Pan American Games, y'all don't know how much it take to do that. Legend. And the difference between having one great night winning the world championship title and having a great, a great run winning two gold medals means you did four or five fights in two weeks span, week and a half span. You know what I mean? So he was great in his own right. When he was at the top, coming over from the Ukraine, selling out in America. Pound for pound. You was nowhere to be found. Now you're now you you are here, but he's just not. And don't look at it as being a duck. It's definitely not a duck. The dude was already in his ship, or just decided to get out just to see what it looked like. Talking to his dad about retirement before yeah. the Cambosis fight, after the Cambosis yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah. So this kind of is what it is. I'm sorry if he got y'all ex excited thinking that <laughs> that y'all was gonna y'all was that was gonna get on y'all list, but the ship has sailed. Is what it is. Well, it does. It did remind me if he if he retires, it you know it it takes me back to when you retired against Terrence, where uh, it was honestly you know we never talked about it on the show. It was actually beautiful. You were there. You saw Sean the day after. Mm -hmm. How relieved did he look? That <laughs> from in his in his spirit. 
Yeah. And it, the it's, stress is gone. You know, honestly, people might have been thinking, oh, Sean might be thinking, mad about to stop it. Maddie lost the fight. It was the most happy I've ever seen <laughs> you. You were <laughs> one you, of the most happy. We, I think we get so caught up in wins and losses and money and that you forget how how tough boxing is yeah. and how happy a man would be. I don't got to get punched in the face anymore. <laughs> I don't have to cut weight and, yeah. eat the, and deny yeah. myself a thing. Yeah. So if Loma retires, like salute, you know, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he'll be in Canastota. I can't see him doing anything no else. One hundred percent will be in Canastota and in the by the boxing hall of fame. By the way. Um, it, yeah, because he's had enough fights here. Yeah. So he'll get into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame as well. But um, maybe he does something back home in Ukraine. Maybe. Well, I know so they got a lot going on over there. there. They're right out of fight there. Then is that a as duck? A, because because you're not retiring, you're still career, fighting, maybe. but you're not fighting the toughest yeah. challenge in the division. Is that a duck then? Yeah. For for Loma, if not you... for to me, not for Loma. Okay. No. No. Um, the thing we've learned about some of these fighters is they they get that. That 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 go past go, you know what I mean? That 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 go straight to go card, you know what I mean? Where they can, for the sake of do what we want, and we know you're you're going around all this because we know once you get to go, you're done, you know what I mean? So I kind of feel like if anything, that could be the situation for him. I wrote it down on my on my pad um, when I was at his fight against uh, Cambosis. I I truly felt like he was going to retire in the ring. Um, going over there for the fight, we knew that he was said that he wanted to have that fight because he wanted to win that title for his dad. He wanted to dedicate mm -hmm. that title to his dad. It made me think to myself, like, dang, I never, yeah, did me I on never that one. specifically <laughs> dedicated a fight to my dad. Like, I wish I had dedicated a fight to my dad. You know what I mean? Right, right. But nonetheless, it w it's kind of like, what else does he need to do? Have to do. At 36 years old, again, I, I kind of rattled off very quickly some of the things he's done as both an amateur and a pro. Um, and and on top of all that, he's carried himself as a 100% professional uh, the entire way. You know, his best days were at 126, uh, moved up to 130, looked great at 130, and we can't expect him to look as good at 135 because we know that's not going to happen. Now we expect him to get in the ring with the best at 135, and we know he's not even remotely close to being his best, don't make sense. Get over it. I'm sorry. I just, you know, get over it. Yeah, what?